Good morning, Papa Bear here. Well, I've got ooh, about three three days before I fly out to San Diego, and I guess four days until I start hiking on the Pacific Crest Trail. So this is my final uh, gear loadout for the PCT. So I already did some individual shorter length videos, and uh, I'm going to try and keep this one short too. I'm just going to quickly go through all the gear I'm taking on the PCT. So to start out with um, what I'm wearing, so I got my CLA hat. I opted for the uh, Mont Bell Sun Hoodie, which has uh, provides pretty coverage around my hands and a uh, nice hood. Um, and then uh, Plante, Plante five inch uh, shorts with the Pathway Projects uh, liners underneath. Um, and then for my feet, the Ninji uh, Bedrock Socks uh, with the Dirty Girl uh, Gators and the Olympus Ultra Olympus 4s. Um, so that's uh, everything that I'm mainly wearing that I'll supplement as I need additional warmth. Um, and then I got my carrot that I'll carry on my chest or it'll clip into like my my hip belt is my Mountain Blaze chest pack and uh, basically I got my wallet in there sunglasses um, I decided to go with I'm actually taking some aqua mirror drops um, just for efficiency so I'll switch back and forth between drops and um, and the filter and I'll pre-mix it each day into this tiny bottle so I'm all ready to go uh, my Apple uh, ear pods and then I got the uh, this uh, attachment um, that goes goes into the top of the trekking pole makes it like a big selfie stick these are and for the trekking poles, um, so that's the quarter inch screw on top that this will, um, this like, I guess foam, foam mount goes in. And that's attached to my trekking poles. These are the Black Diamond Alpine Carbon Cork Whip It Ready trekking poles. They extend to 130 centimeters. Um, and I really like these. Uh, they work great. Uh, that's my chest pack. And then for the uh, main backpack, this is the Red Paul Pax Front Range 40. It has a 40 liter internal capacity, and I believe it's like 15 liters of storage on the outside. So it has this nice big pocket, um, two side pockets for the water bottles. And then it has this this bottom pocket down here um so i'll go through everything on the outside of the pack so i got got my uh, gossamer gear umbrella uh inside this uh this cover that i made for it so it doesn't get ripped up um two one liter smart water bottles um on the side i Put my Garmin InReach Mini 2 uh, in the pocket here. I have my Enlighten Equipment this um, rain jacket, and then tucked in that is my uh, Mountain Blaze uh, wind shell or wind jacket. And then also tucked into the rain jacket are my Mont Vale Versalite pants. And then we got my, inside this little baggie is my line for hanging my food bag. Um, I also have a lighter in here and my BRS uh, stove. And then here I got my toothbrush kit. Basically just, uh, well, I got my spoon, my toothbrush, and there's some toothpaste tablets 
in here as well. And then in this sack, I've got my uh, tent stakes. Uh, if I remember right, there's six MSR groundhogs in here and four uh, MSR carbon core um, tent stakes. So those, those two style uh, stakes. And there's also uh, like 16 feet of extra line in there. Um, that's, you know, sometimes I like to hang up a line to dry things out, or if I just need the extra cordage for anything. In the bottom, I've got my water filter and my two liter pee bag that will also supplement for extra water capacity if I need it. And then in the bottom, I've got my, uh, my first aid kit. And then what I'm carrying on the bottom pocket for this trip is I got my, my poop kit. And then my DCF ground sheet for my tent. Which I also use that for brakes just to sit down on or, or whatnot. And then... Uh, my cook kit is like strapped on my strap in the back here um, and in here I have my cook pot and my cold soaking dish um, this is a Tokes uh, titanium 650 milliliter pot all right and on the shoulder straps I have one of these uh, just microfiber towels, I guess it is. Um, my phone will go in the left pocket. In the top, this top pocket is where I keep some chapstick. And sometimes I'll slide some snacks in these pockets. And then in the right top pocket, I just keep a little mini Spyderco uh, knife. And that's everything on that I keep on the outside of the pack. So I'll go on the inside. Um, so I've got my, my food bag in here and I do have a Nyla Flume uh, bag that lines this that help, it basically keeps the odors down. So that's like kind of my odor protection for my food bag. I have a two and a half liter platypus water bottle. Um, which when I'm carrying water in this, as long as I'm, I have the capacity, I'll carry inside the pack because it just carries the weight better that way. Uh, my shelter, the uh, Z-Pax Plex Solo tent. Um, my electronics bag. If you want to see the details of this, go check out that video. But basically I have, you know, all my all my cords in here. I keep my my Nikkor NU25 headlamp in there. Um, different types of adapters for to charge my electronics. I have two of these uh, Nikkor. What is it? Uh, MB Carbo 20,000 milliamp battery banks and this uh, Moken uh, wall, wall charger. So that's everything in my electronics bag. And then uh, one nice feature about this pack is on the, on the inside is this additional zip, zip pocket. So in there, um, I keep a thing inside this tin is, uh, it's about a third beard butter, a third Neosporin, and a third uh, Badger foot cream. Um, basically all these combination I, I use for uh, foot care, um, but I'm afraid in the desert all this beard butter is going to melt, so I put it in this little plastic baggie. Um, never had an issue with that on the AT, so. And then I carry two cork 
massage balls. This is a little bit bigger one. I, I call it like a midsize um, uh, cork ball. And I use this for my, my calves, my back, if I need it, that type of stuff. This mini one, which is about the size of a quarter, uh, I have a lot of issues with my, my ankles and around my Achilles area. So this like kind of fits in in that space on the side of your ankles really good. Um, so this does wonders for the, the ankles and like tops of the feet. Um, uh, basically I, I carry a, a beard comb. Uh, that's a, I think it's a Chicago comb, beard comb. Uh, this is an attachment. Um, this converts the, my top strap this top strap into like a, a Y strap and so that's just uh, extra line to do that or extra webbing all right and now this this opens up this unzips here and this creates a big pocket um, there's a big pocket in here and in there usually I pull this out last and there's where I keep my sleeping pad and it frames up the back of the pack really nice. This is the Neo Air, uh, Neo Air X-Lite uh, wide pad that I cut down to 63 inches and then resealed it. Um, also in here is a, it's a aluminum stay that also helps Frame, frame out the pack. Uh, and then everything else that I'll be pulling out is inside this Gossamer Gear pack liner. So I got my Weight Heart Gear um, Alpha Direct 90 weight fleece. Got my Senshi Design uh, Alpha Direct 60 weight bottoms. On the on the very bottom, I keep my I'm keeping my uh, 20 degree enlightened equipment uh, revelation quilt inside this uh, stuff sack. And then everything else, like all my extra clothes and everything else is in this, uh, this stuff sack. I like to keep organized, uh, keep everything in my pack organized in, in a couple different stuff sacks. Um, a puffy jacket, this is the Timmermaid SDUL for, I think, super duper ultralight. <laughs> um, 1,000 fill down jacket, uh, a pair of Pathway Projects 8 inch um, boxer briefs to sleep in. I've got my Nemo Filo pillow inside encased in this uh, buff. Um, I've got my pad straps for my quilts. I've got a pair of Z-Pack, uh, I think these are like the Possum Down gloves. Um, and then for the outside shell of that, I have these Mont Bell wind gloves. This combination works really good for me, down to about the mid 20s. I've got a thin pair of Darn Tough running socks to sleep in. Um, a extra pair of hiking socks, darn tough, quarter quarter length. Um, I think these are running socks, um, but they have a little bit more cushion on the bottom than the ones I sleep in. A outdoor research Echo hoodie uh, to sleep and hike in. Um, a light load towel and my mountain blaze beanie so that's all my 
stuff that I'm basically, I'm starting out with all that stuff. And then some additional stuff that I'll add for the snow and Sierra section. So I have these Enlighten Equipment uh, mittens. Um, inside here I have my Kikula ice bikes. They just came in yesterday. So I've got those. I keep them in this little stuff sack. That way, if they're going to poke through anything, you'll at least have to get through this first um, instead of destroying my pack. Um, you got these NRS uh, neoprene socks to keep my feet warm and to hike in in the snow. You got this Sea to Summit uh, bug head net. Um, I'm sure I'll need this set at some point. Um, I've got my this is the Whippet attachment. Ooh, that. goes on to the end of my trekking pole for my self-arrest uh, device. And then um, the, the leash, the basic ice axe leash that will um, attach on to this just to make sure uh, it always stays attached with me in case I fall down and I, so I don't lose it. And then I got my, uh, uh, I guess it's Wild Ideas Barricade Blazer. Um, should fit about two, seven, about seven days of food in here. Um, and that's all the gear that I'm taking on the PCT. I start in a few days, so thanks for checking this out. I hope you all have a good day.